Students and parents all getting excited because, yep, the new school year will be here. Before you know it, the countdown is on. Oh, yeah, many metro districts start classes next week. And after a really kind of a tough summer of yeah. news, some mass shootings, including at schools, part of the preparation is easing back into some school. Yeah. Maybe that brings some anxiety with it as well. Now, joining us to talk more about mental health in the classroom is OU Health's Dr. Britta Ostermeyer. Thanks for being with us this morning, Doctor. Thank you for Thank having you me. So Good morning. Much. You know, it's, it's an exciting time of year, but then it seems like there's a little bit of cautious mm. trying to step into a new school year. What's just kind of the first thing you think about when uh, helping parents and students navigate with just all the recent headlines we've been seeing? Absolutely. It's important to start early. Uh, school starts next week, so uh, this is about this is uh, the, the best time to start back easing into the rhythm of when to go to bed and preparing. And think about uh, how to get to school, what school looks like, and maybe getting in touch with classmates and teachers. Mm -hmm. when, whenever kids are asking about some of these headlines we've seen across the country, how specific should parents get when discussing these things with their children? Um, I would say they uh, need to do that in conjunction with the school because every school is different and whatever uh, parents advise their, uh, their students, their children on safety needs to be coordinated with uh, school efforts. But there are common things uh, that we all can advise, you know, don't go into a car or a room <clears throat> with somebody you don't know. Stranger. When you hear, see concerning things that are a safety threat, then please let somebody know, at least your parents or your teacher. What do you say, though, to parents? Like, just, you know, at home around the dinner table, we're getting excited for the new year, but uh, how should parents approach that just at the home level of uh, when their kids ask, why do uh, bad things happen, like a school shooting? Should I be afraid to go to school? What should a parent say to their children? That's very understandable and uh, unfortunately a common dinner conversation these days. On one hand, we want to be cautious and we want to be concerned and discuss safety matters. On the other hand, we have to go back to school and we have to conduct uh, our daily chores. And uh, it is best to also stimulate efforts of safety discussions and precautions and things that can be done in case there is an event at the school. But I would uh, try to explain to, uh, to uh, children in a forthcoming age-appropriate mm -hmm. way right. that uh, bad things unfortunately always happen and they have always happened in the world, yeah. but we still need to be confident and mm -hmm. feel safe. That doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen where you are. So kind of grace and truth in our conversations. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Ostermeyer. Appreciate it very much.